Hi, I'm Jeremy Cowan for Vanilla Plus, and I'm here in Lisbon to talk to Rui Paiva, who is the CEO of We Do Technologies. Rui, thank you for agreeing to see Vanilla Plus. Uh, 2011 is a big year for you. It's your 10th anniversary year. Looking back on it, how have you developed over the 10 years? What have you achieved, and what have you still to achieve that you feel hasn't been done yet? When we create the company, um, we create the company uh, nine months prior to the, the launch of the company. And the idea was, since the beginning, to design something that could be global and, seen, and, and something that we, we could replicate in each of the countries. So that means for nine months, we just set up all the processes, all the methodologies, all the rules and everything. Um, we configure the systems, all our internal systems, like the ERP systems and everything. And j just on the day that we figured out that we were ready, then we set the date for the launch of the company. So that is, uh, let's say, the, the big difference from a normal company. And right now, on the area where we are, which is the business assurance area, um, it's more known as uh, revenue assurance, we are, I think, the biggest player in the market. Um, Stratcast says that we have 25% of the market, total market. And if we look into Gartner, they say that we are the number two if we combine um, revenue insurance plus fraud. Now we are present in 15 countries all around the world, in the five continents, and with uh, more than 400 persons from uh, 18 nationalities up to now. What lessons have you learned in the process? I mean, one of the things that interests me particularly is that you've changed your business strategy from pure revenue assurance to what you describe as business assurance. Can you elaborate on that? Re regarding the strategy, you know, well, all the companies, they have one strategy at the beginning, and then during the years, you adapt the strategy, meaning the tactical for the strategy. But you also have... Um, to, to look into the market and try to adapt yourself into the market. So that's why we come up with this uh, new um, strategy, which is, uh, which is uh, something that has embedded the revenue insurance concept, but where we can not only control then revenue insurance, but all the processes that are within a telco operator. So that means for us, business insurance means all the business, and each of the processes, like revenue insurance is one of the processes for us, it's part of that big pie, which is the business insurance concept. And what do you think will be the business drivers beyond 2011? Tough question. Well, it is, it is very tough. If you know those, <laughs> and if you can share those with me, I will appreciate. <laughs> um, well, f for us, um, we are already working on, on, the, on the next years. And next years for us are mainly uh, related within telecom, related to the business assurance. That means more processes within a telco operator. Um, so that's one area. And the other area is uh, known telco. Um, and we are planning now to work mainly in three areas, known telco. One is retail, another one is finance, and within finance mainly insurance. And another one is uh, utilities, and within utilities, mainly energy. Because the system that we have is a kind of an agnostic system. So we treat events, and an event could be anything for us. Uh, can be a telco event, but could be a non-telco event, doesn't matter. And then uh, on top of that, we treat processes where we can, can configure one process. And again, it's agnostic. Could be a telco process or a non-telco process. The difference then is within the configurations. There's been an awful lot of hype surrounding cloud services. What's your view of the buzz in this area? Well, we will be part of that. Probably there are three main players on that. Um, the telco operators uh, connection. Um, the other one is the, um, the IT providers, companies like HP and IBM, and the companies that supply applications. So we are going to be part of that. I will see probably a partnership between the IT providers and the telco companies where they uh, host the systems, either within the telco or the telco will, will uh, get the connections into the IT providers, and thus providing the applications, and that will be uh, the, a perfect game for all of us. Rui, thank you very much. My pleasure.
Revenue assurance has been something of a success story for telecoms over the last decade. Operators, with support from vendors, have managed to plug many of the most immediate revenue leakage gaps. But that was perhaps the low-hanging fruit, and many believe that this is where it all starts to get a little bit harder. And of course, there are considerable opportunities outside telecoms itself. So I guess the winners will be those who can manage multiple data flows across whatever vertical to improve business processes. And with the likes of Orange, Vodafone and Vimplecom already on WeDo's order books, I for one wouldn't want to bet against them.